Hi, and welcome to my channel, which is Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at a, a, a beer, it's kind of a, a very limited and sort of one-off beer, uh, from a brewery which is uh, kind of localized. Uh, we don't see them, you don't see them too much outside of their area, outside of the Kansai area in which they are. And that brewery is uh, called Nagahama Roman Beer. And this is a brewery that's been around for a while. Uh, and they're located at the uh, north end of Lake Biwa, which is the largest lake in Japan, in the, right in the center of Japan. If you look at a map, you'll see a large lake, and that is Lake Biwa. And uh, they have a brewery and a restaurant uh, attached to, to it, and uh, they're kind of well known for having good deals on beer uh, at certain times of the year. Uh, sometimes they have, a, a, for example, in December, they have a, a three-hour all-you-can-drink deal, no mihodai, for they used to have for 1,500 yen, which is quite a deal. And they used to have, a, in June, they would have a very cheap pitcher prices, so pictures of beer. Um, they also have music concerts. Uh, for example, their uh, Christmas concert apparently is quite big, uh, or quite well known. And they are attached to the liquor mountain chain of uh, 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 discount liquor, st or liquor stores in Japan. And uh, so their beers are often found in those stores. Uh, anyway, you can go online and look at their website, Nagahama's website, and see the uh, events and the menus, uh, but unfortunately not a lot about the beers, so today's beer you may not find much information about it there. Today's beer is this one. It's called Nagahama Zakuro Ale, and Zakuro is pomegranate in English, as you can see from the, the picture, the pomegranate seeds, and uh, this is a flavored fruit beer at seven percent and this is one of the large format uh, bottles that they put out uh, maybe three four times a year they put out different uh, beers uh, very limited um, and i generally just wait for the price to go down a bit uh, uh, so when they're trying to uh, sell off their remainders they lower the price by uh, a quarter or more and uh, so that's when i pick up a bottle uh, so this is the, the, the latest release that they've had on this scale, uh, the uh, uh, 750 milliliter bottles. And uh, this beer is a 7%er, and it, uh, on rate beer, it has only one rating at 3.3 uh, uh, out of 5, and untapped 6 ratings uh, total, but no number of average score. Okay, so... Uh, so let's uh, give this a go, shall we? Again, Nagahama Roman Beer. All right, and now we have this opened nicely, and we'll uh, give it a go. It's not quite the color I expected. Okay. Okay, it is a, a kind of reddish, dark reddish brown with a full finger of kind of frothy, uh, light tan head. And it is clear, it is clear, but it seems to have quite a bit of body, so we're not seeing things through it completely clearly. Okay, and carbonation, not readily apparent here. But, let's give it a go. Oh my, okay, so. It does have a very rich, fruity sort of aroma. Mm. Let's see, this was made. Let's see. So the Best Buy is uh, July, so in about four months or so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it does have a real rich, kind of caramel and dark fruit mixed together. 
something sharper in there. Too. I don't know what. I guess it must be the zakuro, the uh, pomegranate juice. The only ingredients are malt, hops, and pomegranate. The malt is a German German malt, according to the label. Okay. Okay, it has a, an immediate kind of rich fruitiness, but then it thins out rather quickly. Um, it tastes to me like a... Uh, at the beginning of what I would think of as a Belgian dark ale. Um, but then it kind of flattens out, and uh, I don't think they're using any Belgian yeast in this. The fruit flavors are apparent in mid-palate, and they kind of fall back on the uh, tongue throughout the finish, and it becomes more recognizable as as pomegranate uh, in the finish, I think. Initially, I would have no, no idea what fruit this was. Pomegranate juice has a kind of light astringency and actually, now, now I'm getting much more of a sense of it as being pomegranate. Uh, initially, no, but uh, if you've ever had pomegranate juice, it does have a kind of very gentle astringency uh, on the tongue uh, as you, uh, you know, in the finish. So, uh, mm, so that's, I think, what it is. Very pleasant, interesting. Um, I mean, there have, uh, other breweries have made uh, pomegranate beers. They're not a, a big subset of fruit beers, but certainly other breweries have made them in, in Japan too as well. This is pleasant, refreshing. Um, uh, you know, I'm glad they made it. Uh, I doubt if they'll make it again, but uh, you know, if you happen to be going by a liquor mountain uh, these days, you might want to pick one of these up. Uh, this was 1,200 yen, uh, and that's a discounted price from 1,600, so, so uh, a little bit pricey, but uh, you know, if you want to try something unusual, something different, give it a go. Again, this is called Naga Nagahama Zakuro Ale, a flavored fruit beer at 7% from Nagahama Roman Brewery in Nagahama, uh, Japan. So give it a try, and uh, tell me what you think. Hope you're doing well, and uh, we're going to move on to a uh, another uh, brewery, which is not Japanese, in our next video. So, but I hope you stay on for that. Bye bye.